Hello everybody, Shadow here, and welcome back to Old School RuneScape. Last time, uh, we did the Tower of Life quest and the Observatory quest. Now, we are back in Varrock to do a quest that is probably a bit overdue. Hello, young one. Cross my palm with silver and the future will be revealed to you. Silver? But this is gold. Come closer and listen carefully to what the future holds for you as I peer into the swirling mists of the crystal ball. I can see images forming. I can see you. You are holding a very impressive looking sword. I'm sure I recognize that sword. There is a big, dark shadow appearing now. Ah! Are you alright? It's Delrith. Delrith is coming. Who's Delrith? Delrith. Delrith is a powerful demon. Oh, I really hope he didn't see me looking at him through my crystal ball. He tried to destroy this city 150 years ago. He was stopped just in time by the great hero, Wally. Using his magic sword, Silverlight, Wally managed to trap the demon in the stone circle just south of the city. Ye god, Silverlight was the sword you were holding in my vision. You are the one destined to stop the demon this time. I see. Interesting. How am I meant to fight a demon who can destroy cities? If you face Delrith while, you are, while he is still weak from being summoned, you can u and use the correct weapon, you will not find the task too arduous. Do not fear. If you follow the path of the great hero Wally, then you are sure to defeat the demon. Okay. Where, okay, where is he? I'll kill him for you. Ah, the overconfidence of the youth, of the young. Delrith can't be harmed by ordinary weapons. You must face him using the same weapon that Wally used. So how did Wally kill Delrith? Wally managed to arrive at the stone circle just as Delrith was summoned by a cult of chaos druids. Die, foul demon! Now, what was that incantation again? Alright, here we go. Hold on. There we go. Aber. Carlum. Perchai. Cameron. Camerinthium. Gabinode. Why did. Okay, the music just cut off. I think I, I'm normally supposed to. I am the greatest demon slayer ever! By reciting the correct magical incantation and thrusting Silverlight into Delrith when he was newly summoned, Wally was able to imprison Delrith in the, the stone block in the center of the circle. Oh, you see. Cool. Delrith will come forth from the stone circle again. I would imagine an evil sorcerer is already starting on the rituals to summon Delrith as we speak. All right. Where can I find Silverlight? Silverlight has been passed down through Wally's descendants. I believe it is currently in the care of one of the king's knights called Sir Prison? Prison? I don't know. He shouldn't be too hard to find. He lives in the royal palace in this city. Tell him Gypsy Ari Eris? I don't know. Send her. Sent you. Okay. Okay, thanks. I'll do my best to stop the demon. Good luck, and maybe, and may Gothix be with you. That he will be. Gothix is great. I love Gothix. Opera. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Okay. So prison. I think. Hey, there he is. Hello. Who are you? Gypsy Ares said I should come and talk to you. Gypsy Ares? She's still alive. I remember her from when I was pretty young. Uh, well, what do you need to talk to me about? I need to find Silverlight. 
Oh, what do you need to find that for? I need to fi I need it to fight Delrith. Delrith? I thought the world was rid of him, thanks to my great-grandfather. Well, the gypsy's crystal ball seems to think otherwise. Well, if the ball says so, I'd better help you. The problem is getting Silverlight. You mean you don't have it? Oh, I do have it, but it is so powerful that the king made me put it in a special box, which needs three different keys to open it. That way it won't fall into the wrong hands. And why is this a problem? I kept one of the keys. I gave the other two to other people for safekeeping. One I gave to Rovin, the captain of the palace guard. I gave the other to the wizard... Tra... Traborn? Triborn? Triborn. I don't know. Can you give me your key? Um... Ah... Uh, well, there's a problem there as well. I managed to drop the key in the drain just outside the palace kitchen. It is just inside and I can't reach it. So where does the drain link connect to? It is the drain for the drain pipe running from the sink in the kitchen down to the palace sewers. Okay. Where can I find Captain Rovin? Captain Rovin lives at the top of the guard's quarters in the northwest wing of this palace. Alright, where does the wizard live? Wizard Treborn? He is one of the wizards who lives in the tower on the on the little island just off the south coast. I believe his quarters are on the first floor of the tower. Alright, well I'd better go key hunting. Okay, goodbye. Alright, well, since we're in the tower, let's go ahead and talk to Captain Rovin. Captain Rovin. You're not here, okay. Next tower? Captain Robin! What are you doing up here? Only the palace guards are allowed up here. Yes, I know, but this is important. Okay, I'm listening. Tell me, what's so important? There's a demon who wants to invade this city. Is it a powerful demon? Yes, very. As good as the palace guards are, I don't know if they're up to taking on a very powerful demon. It's not them go who are going to fight the demon, it's me. Wait, what, all by yourself? How are you going to do that? I'm going to use the powerful sword Silverlight, which I believe you have one of the keys for. Yes, I do, but why should I give it to you? Well, Gypsy Ares said I was destined to, de destined to kill the demon. A gypsy? Destiny? I don't believe in that stuff. I got where I am today by hard work, not by destiny. Why should I care what that old man Gypsy says? So Prison said you would give me the key? Oh, did he? Did he? He did, did he? Well, I don't report to Sir Prison. <laughs> I report directly to the king. I didn't work my way up through the ranks of the palace guards so I could take orders from an ill-bred moron who only has his job because his great-grandfather was a hero with a silly name. Why did he give you one of the keys then? <laughs> only because the king ordered him to. The king couldn't get her prison to part with his precious ancestral sword, but he made him lock it up so he couldn't lose it. I got one key and I think some wizard got another. Now what happened to the third one? The Sir Prison dropped it down a drain. <laughs> oh, the idiot. Okay, I'll give you the key, just so it's you that kills the demon and not Sir Prison. Captain Rovin hands you a key. Alright. Well, <laughs> that could have gone better, but it could have gone worse too. Alright, to the kitchen. Uh, 
<clears throat> well, not the kitchen per se, but the kitchen drain. That must be the key Sir Prison dropped. I don't seem to be able to reach it. I wonder if I can dislodge it somehow. That way it may go down into the sewers. A bucket of water! Okay, I think I've washed the key down into the sewer. I'd better go down and get it. Yes. Yes, I probably should. Over there. Okay! Hey, look, it's a manhole. Doop, do, 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 we're in the sewers. Whoop, whoop, we're in the sewers. Yeah, yeah. Hey, look! I found it! You pick up an old rusty key. Oh my. Well, now I gotta get over to the um, wizard's tower. So the fastest way is probably to teleport to Lumbridge. All right. But, before we actually go all the way to the Wizard's Tower, I need some stuff. Alright, we got some bones! <laughs> we, got, we got a lot of bones! All right, let's go. Shubidi boop bop ba da doo. Shubidi bop bop ba da doo. All right. This actually, this kind of sucks because I know what the reward for this is, and it's literally just silver light, which is not even a good sword. Like at this point. The only reason why I'm doing it is because it's a requirement for a couple quests down the road. So it's like, might as well, I guess. Hello, Wizard's Tower. I am coming to your first floor, which is the second floor in accordance of other standards. It's weird. Triborn. Hello, young thing about what? No, no, we're not going to question it. I need to get a key given to you by Sir Prison. Sir Prison? Who's that? Why would I want his... What would I want his key for? He, he told me... You were looking about... You, you were looking after it for him. That wasn't very clever of him. I'd lose my head if, I, if it wasn't screwed on. Go and tell him to find someone else to look after his valuables in the future. Well, have you got any keys knocking around? Now you come to mention it, yes, I do have a key. It's in my special closet of valuable stuff. Now how do I get into that? I sealed it using one of my magic rituals. So, I, so it would make sense that another ritual would open it again. Um, so, do you know the ritual to use? Uh, let me think for a second. Yes, a simple Dreyer style ritual should suffice. Hmm. <laughs> Main problem is with what is I'll need 25 cents of bones. Now, where am I going to get hold of something like that? I'll get the bones for you. Oh, that would be very good of you. Okay, I'll speak to you when I've got some bones. All right, I got some bones. How are you doing finding bones? I have some bones. Give them here then. You give Triborn 25 sets of bones. 
Hurrah! That's all 25 sets of bones! Wings of dark, cut and color too, spread in in the morning dew. Locked away, I have a key. Return it now, please. On to me. Whoa! Triborn hands you a key. Thank you very much. Not a problem for a friend of Sir What's-His-Face. Fair enough. Not that I need Chronicle Teleport. Which, speaking of, we probably need to recharge that soon. shoo ba bop bop ba da doo Running all over the place. Hey, look. There's a stone table. An evil presence seems to rest in the stone table. I never would have guessed. All right. All right, let's go. All right, let's go. All right, let's go. Yeah, yeah. Whoa, whoa, yeah, yeah. Whoa, whoa, yeah, yeah, yeah. Woohoo, woohoo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, wow, I'm... Hmm, this actually... I might have to f impromptu find something to do for this episode because with this quest and the next quest, I don't... We might be under time. So, how are you doing with getting the keys? I've got all three keys. Excellent. Now I can give you silver light. Ta-da! Sir Prison hands you a very shiny sword. That sword belonged to my great-grandfather. Make sure you treat it with respect. Now, go kill that demon! Alright! Sounds like a plan! Alright, I should probably open up my phone so I can see the incantation again. I also want to stop at a bank. I'm pretty... I, I'm... Sh Normally you're supposed to do this a lot lower level, like Delrith, I think, is level 20. Yeah, he's level 27. I'm level 49. So, uh, I'm a little bit ahead of the ahead of the curve, you know. I'm going to be fine. Okay, bank. Well, go ahead and equip our armor. We'll take, we'll take three lobsters, and that should be fine. Oh yeah, look at us. We're gonna go kick some butt. Go, 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 go! Off to the wizard! Circle thing. Okay. Perfect. Hello, wizards. I'm here to kill your demon. Arise, almighty oh Delrith. Bring destruction to this soft, weak city. Arise, Delrith. The wizards cast an evil spell. Oh no, it's Delrith. Ha 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 ha. At last you are free, my demonic brother. Rest, rest now, and then have your revenge on this pitiful city. Who's that? No, not Silverlight. Delrith is not ready yet. I've got to get out of here. You think you can face me? You stupid wizards! Now what was that incantation again? Well, that would be Aber. Carlum Perchai 
This one. This one. And this one. Delrith is sucked into the vortex. Bye bye. Ta ta for now. Back into the dark dimension from which he came. Three quest points and silver light. And we also, uh, because we are now on Steam, uh, you couldn't see it because it is the, the achievement pop-ups are set behind where my face cam is. But uh, I got the demonstration achievement for beating Demon Slayer. Uh, the achievements, they're not very hard to get. I think, like, every th all of the achievements, I think, can be achieved in free-to-play. If I am correct. Uh, from what I was looking at before. Alright, let's go ahead and unequip all this stuff. And now, drop this in here. And I need a b -b 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 pestle and mortar. I need a vial, n not a vial of water, but a vial. But I can just empty that. A tinder box. A cup of tea. A rope. Um, that I need to get from the Madudad, charcoal, and the rest, the rest can be obtained in the thing. One thing I would like to take is a couple of these, I think that's right. Yeah, okay, cool. That'll perfect, 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 perfect. Because we gotta come back and forth a little bit. And I don't want to be using my Chronicle charges. Okay, I think technically I can't go through that gate. I need to go down here. All right, we're actually heading back to where we started um, Elemental Workshop 2 over at the dig site. But we have no... Actually, hold on. I was going to say we have no run energy, but we can uh, recharge one more time today. All right, let's go. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Ah, hello there. I am the resident lecturer on antiques and artifacts. I also set the earth sciences exams. Earth sciences? That is right, dear. The world of Gilinor holds many wonders beneath its surface. Uh, students come to me to take exams so that they may join in on the archaeological dig going on just north of here. So if they don't pass the exams, they can't dig at all? That's right! We have to make sure that students know enough to be able to dig safely and not damage the artifacts. Can I take an exam? You can if you get this letter stamped by the curator of Verox Museum. Why is that then? Because he is a very knowledgeable man and employs our archaeological expert. I'm sure he knows a lot about your exploits and can judge whether you'd make a good archaeologi archaeologist or not. <laughs> Besides, the museum contributes funds to the dig. Uh, but why are you writing the letter? Shouldn't he? He is also a very busy man, so I write the letters and he just stamps them if he approves. Oh, I see. I'll ask him if he approves me and bring my stamped letter back here. Thanks. All right. Well. Teleporting. To the museum. 
Boom! Hello. Welcome to the Museum of Varrock. I have been given this letter by an examiner at the dig site. Can you stamp this for me? What have we here? A letter of recommendation indeed. The letter here says your that says your name is the Slash Nine. Well, the Slash Nine, I wouldn't normally do this for just anyone, but as you did but as you did us such a great service with the Shield of Erov, I don't see why not. Run this letter back to the examiner to begin your adventure into the world of Earth Sciences. Enjoy your studies, student. There you go. Good luck, student. Be sure to come back and show me your certificates. I would like to see how you get on. Okay, I will. Thanks. See you later. All right, let's go. I I don't know those other options. I don't know if they're important or not. We're just not going to mess with it just yet. Okay. We have to do the whole run again. Because, um, yeah. We'll have to do some walking, but that's just kind of normal. We're level 51 agility and we still run, it still feels like we run out of energy, like nothing. Which sucks. Uh, but it's, it's fine because we will, um, we'll be walking around and taking things slow, um, after a certain point. So, yeah. Okay, technically this was the examiner that I talked to, so let's, let's keep it consistent. Hello. Hello again. Here is the stamped letter you asked for. Good, good. We will begin the exam. Okay, we will start with the first exam. Earth Scientist, Earth, Sci Earth Sciences Level 1, Beginner. Question one, Earth Sciences Overview. Can you tell me what Earth Sciences is? Um, none of these seem right. Uh, the study of planets and the history of worlds. Okay, next question. Earth Sciences Level One, question two, eligibility. Can you tell me what, which people are allowed to use the dig sites? Magic, user, magic users, miners, and their escorts. Professors, students, and workmen only. Local residents, uh, I would say that. Okay, next question. Earth Sciences Level 1, Question 3, Health and Safety. Can you tell me the proper safety points when working on a dig site? Heat resistant clothing should be worn at all times. Rubber chickens to be worn on the head at all times. Pre protective clothing, clothing to be worn. Tools kept away from site. That doesn't seem right. Okay, that covers the level one Earth Sciences exam. Let's see how you did. Oh, dearie me. This is appalling. None correct at all. I suggest you go and study properly. Oh, dear. Why don't you use the resources here? There are books and the researchers. And you can even ask other students who are also studying for these exams. All right. Let's see. Dang. <laughs> K-Man just got a Rune Scimitar Ornament Kit. Impressive. Okay, uh, sorry. <laughs> I'm a little distracted by that. I don't have any of that. Okay. So, oh, hold on, I need to do that. Let us go ahead and explore the stuff. 
And we've managed to get enough run energy back. It is a large urn. Wow. I believe we're supposed to search these bush. Hey, something's been dropped here. You find something. All right. Shoot a boop boop. Take the panning tray. Care for a cup of tea? Ah, oh, lovely. You can't beat a good cup of... Uh, you're free to pan all you want. All right. Search. Contains only mud. Only plain mud. I'm gonna try a different spot. Okay, we. Are you serious? You gonna. Okay. I need two things from this. Not nuggets. Not nuggets at all. Not coins either. Nope. Still not coins. I'm gonna be right back once I get the things that I need. Oh hey! <laughs> I didn't even have to cut. That's one. So we needed that shiny cup. But there is one more thing that I need. Hey, there it is. Finally. Okay, that took a bit. Okay. Ow! Don't mind me! I said, don't mind me! I found an animal skull. And a specim specimen brush. Hello there. Can you help me with the earth science exam at all? I can't do anything unless, unless I find my special cup. You're what? My special cup. I won it for a particularly good find last month. Oh, right. So if I find it, you'll tell me? I sure will. Any ideas where it might, maybe? All I remember is that I was working near the tents when I lost it. Okay, I'll see what I can do. Hello there. Look what I found. Excellent. I'm so happy. <laughs> that didn't sound sincere at all. Wow. <laughs> okay. Uh, let me help. No. Let me now help you with your exams. The people eligible to use the dig site are all that have passed the appropriate Earth Sciences exams. Okay. Thanks for the information. Can you help me with the Earth Sciences exams at all? I can help. I can if you help me. How can I do that? I have lost my teddy bear. He was my lucky mascot. Do you know where you dropped him? Well, I was doing a lot of walking that day. Oh yes, that's right. We were studying ceramics, in fact. Near the edge of the dig site. I found some pottery that seemed to match the design of those large urns. I was in the process of checking this out, and when we got back to the center, my lucky mascot had gone. Leave it to me. I'll find it. Oh, great. Thanks. Guess what I found? Hey, my lucky mascot. Thanks ever so much. Let me help you with those questions now. 
The proper health and safety points are leather gloves and boots to be worn at all times. Proper tools must be used. Great, thanks for the advice. Hello there. Can you help me with the Earth science ex Sciences exam at all? Well, maybe if you will help me with something. What's that? I have lost my recent good find. What does it look like? Er, uh, like an animal skull. Well, that's not too helpful. There are lots of those around here. Can you remember where you had it last? It was around here for sure. Maybe somebody picked it up? Okay, I'll have a look for you. Hello there! Is this your animal skull? Oh, wow! You found it! Thank you so much! I'll be glad to tell you what I know about the exam. The study of Earth sciences is the study of the Earth, its contents, and history. Okay, I'll remember that. Alrighty! Now that we have all three questions, it's time to head on over to the exam center and take this exam again. Hello, lady. Hello. Okay. Hello again. Are you ready for another shot at the exam? Yes, I certainly am. Okay, we will start with the first exam. I have read all of this, so I'm just gonna skip through it. All who have passed, passed the appropriate exams. Let's see how you did. You got all the questions correct? Well done! Hey! Excellent! You have now passed the Earth Sciences Level 1 General Exam. Here's your certificate to prove it. You also get a decent travel to dig with. Of course, you'll want to get studying for your next exam now. Alright! We now have uh, our first certificate. Cool. Alright, well, now I gotta go talk to all three of those people again. Because they will tell me what I need. Tell me what I need, need, need. All right, come on, people. We got a, we got a thing to do. Student. Hello there. How's it going? I need more help with the exam. Okay, well, this is what I have learned since I last spoke to you. Correct rock pick usage. Always handle with care. Strike the rock cleanly on its cleaving point. Okay, I'll remember that. Student! Student! Hello there! How's it going? Ah, uh, there are more exam questions I'm stuck on. Hey, I'll tell you what I've learned. That may help. Correct sample transportation. Samples taken in rough form kept only in sealed containers. Thanks for the information. All right. Final student. Huh. How's it going? I am stuck on some more exam questions. Okay, I'll tell you my latest notes. Find the finds handling. Finds must be carefully handled and gloves worn. Great, thanks for the advice. All right, well, here we go. Hi there. Okay, I'm ready for the next exam. Okay, this is the next part of the Earth Science exams. Earth Science is level two, intermediate. Question one, sample transportation. Can you tell me how we transfer samples? Samples taken in rough form, uh, kept only in the sealed containers. Okay, next question. Handling of fines. What is the proper way to handle fines? Fines must be carefully handled and gloves worn. Okay, next question. Rock pick usage. Can you tell me the proper use for a rock pick? Always handle with care. Strike cleanly on its cleaving point. 
Okay, that covers the level two Earth Sciences exam. Let me add up your total. You've got all the questions correct. Well done. Great, I'm getting good at this. You have now passed the Earth. Here's your certificate, of course. We we'll want you st want you'll want to get studying for your next exam now. <sighs> Sorry, I'm I'm uh, I've been going for a bit. Um, I mean, this is, I think this is like the third episode that I've done today. Um, so I am starting to get a little bit tired. So I will pro I'll probably at the very least take a break. Um, after this episode. Pro I probably will stop. In fact, I need, I need to stop, uh, actually, because I've completely forgotten that I have not beaten a game this week. Uh, student! Mr. Hello there. How's it going? I need more help with the exam. Well, okay. This is what I've learned since I last spoke to you. A specimen, a specimen brush use. Brush carefully and slowly using short strokes. Okay, I'll remember that. Thanks for all your help. All right. Student. 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 Prudent, prudent, prudent. Hello there. How's it going? There are more exam questions I'm stuck on. Hey, I'll tell you what I've learned. That may help. The proper technique for handling bones is handle bones carefully and keep them away from other samples. Thanks for the information. All right. Time to talk to the other student. Student. Hello there. What? You want more help? Uh, yes, please? Well, it's going to cost you. Oh, well, how much? I'll tell you what I... I'll tell you what I would like. A precious stone. I don't find many of them. My favorites are opals. They're beautiful. Just like me. <laughs> right. Uh, okay. I'll see what I can do, but I'm not sure where I'd get one. Well, I have seen people get them from painting occasionally. Okay, I'll see what I can turn up for you. Hello there! Oh, hi again. Did you bring in the opal? Would an opal look like this by any chance? Wow, great! You found one. This will look beautiful set in my necklace. Thanks for that. Now I'll tell you what I know. Sample preparation. Samples cleaned and carried only in specimen jars. Great. Thanks for your advice. All right. <laughs> Back we go once again. This is getting a little ridiculous. Hello. Ah, hello again. I'm ready for the last exam. Why, why are you talking like you're, you're announcing this to the whole school? Like, <laughs> what? Uh, that's, that's weird. Like, attention, this is the fun. What, what? Okay. Uh, question one. Can you tell me how we prepare samples? Samples cleaned and only in specimen, carried only in specimen jars. Okay, next question. What is the proper way to use a specimen brush? Short strokes. Can you describe the techniques for handling bones? Keep them away from other samples. Let me add up the results. Okay, you got all the questions correct. Well done. Hooray. Congratulations. You have now passed the Earth Sciences Level 3 exam. Here is your Level 3 certificate. I can dig wherever I want now. Perhaps you should use your newfound skills to find an artifact on the dig site that will impress the archaeological expert. Okay. Right. We can do that. All right. The Western Room, the Western Room. No, I don't. I hate these. I hate these stupid cupboards.
because it's it's like you want to open them and then you want to search them but you need to right click to search them and it's it's stupid it's really stupid okay here we go uh, do 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 here we go digging 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 Hey, we found it. You find a strange talisman. All right. That took a bit. That took quite a while. We found two black med helms though. So that's cool. I mean, from uh these actually will probably sell for uh okay-ish uh, sum of money. Huh, but yeah, that, that would, uh, that took a bit. That took a bit. I mean, we're... <laughs> I was saying when I was doing, um... I was saying when I was doing uh, Demon Slayer, I was like, I, need to, I might need to find another quest to do because this might not take a while. But now we... <laughs> ha! Huh. Take a look at this talisman. Unusual. This object doesn't appear right. Hmm. I wonder. Let me check my guide. Could be? Surely not. From the markings on it, it seems to be a ceremonial ornament to a god named... Zaros. I haven't heard much about him before. This is a great discovery. We know very little of the pagan gods the, that people worshipped. There is some strange writing in, embossed on it. It says Zaros will return and wreak his vengeance upon Zamorak the Pretender. I wonder what it means by that. Some silly superstition, probably. Still, I wonder what this is doing around here. I'll tell you what. As you have found this, I will allow you to use the private dig shafts. You obviously have a keen eye. Take this letter and give it to one of the workmen. They and they will allow you to use them. All right, all right, kill. Nice, nice, nice. Is there something I can do with these gold nuggets? Am I supposed to be turning them in somewhere? Ah! <laughs> okay, well, uh, I don't feel like doing that. That's not an effective use of my time. You can trade three of them for a... I don't want to read this, actually. I want to use that. You can trade three of them for a gold ore, and it's like, why would I do that when I can just mine for gold? Here, have a look at this. I give permission, blah, 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 etc. Okay, that's all in order. You may use the mine shaft now. I'll hang on to this scroll, shall I? Sure, I guess. Okay, which one am I going to first? That one. Rope. On the winch. Tie a rope to the bucket. You lower yourself into the shaft. Whoa. Grab that. Ooh. Spooky. Hmm. There's a room past these bricks. If I could move them out of the way, I could find out what's inside. Maybe there's someone around here who can help. All right. Let's go to the next one.
I I used it on the winch. Doug Deepin. Hello. Hello. I have a visitor. What are you doing down here? Well, um, how can I move a large pile of rocks? There used to be this chap that worked on in the other shaft. He was working on an explosive chemical mixture to be used for clearing blocked areas underground. He left in a hurry one day. Something in the shaft scared him to death, but it didn't say what. Oh? A rumor has it he's been writing a book on his chemical chemical mixture. I'm not sure what goes into it, but I'm sure you'll find the stuff he was using scattered around the dig site. He left so quickly he didn't take anything with him. In fact, I still have a chest key he gave me to look after. Perhaps it's more useful to you. Doug hands you a key. Nice. All right. Well, off I go. All right. Do 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 do. Run over to the tear hands. Use the chest key on the chest. I don't know if I need to do that or if I need to. Uh, if I could have just clicked on it. Powder. Okay. I want to empty this. Pop open these barrels. Oh, not that barrel. That one's already open. Oh, that one's deadly. Great. It's opened it. You filled the vial with the liquid. I'm not sure what this stuff is. I had better be very careful with it. I had better not drop it either. Right, right. Well. Let's go ahead and grind up some charcoal. Alright, I guess I gotta go back to the archaeological expert. Hello, good sir. Alright, yo, know, I need to. what this is where did you get this from one of the barrels at the dick site this is a very dangerous liquid called nitroglycerin be careful how you handle it don't drop it or it will explode oh oh I see do you know what this powder is really you do find the most unusual items I know what it is. It's a strong chemical called ammon ammonium nitrate? Sure. Why you want this, I'll never know. Right. Well, that's my secret, and I'm sticking to it. A mix, 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 mix. A mix, 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 mix. A mix, 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 mix. It's excellent. This looks just right. I'm doing this all while running. Chemical compound. I'm assuming that there was some sort of book that I was supposed to be able to find to figure out how to do that, but I don't care. Okay. Okay, the mixture is all over the bricks. I need some way to ignite this compound. 
Whoa, this is gonna blow! I better run! Oh no! Wow, that was a big explosion! What's that noise I can hear? Sounds like bones moving or something. Well... Hello, skeletons. Don't mind me. Just here to steal your mysterious stone tablet. It says, Tremble, mortal, before the altar of our dread lord Zaros. Oh my! Okay. Boop a doop a doop, just gotta walk all the way back over. And then we're ready. Come on. Almost there. Almost. Getting close. Ugh. Okay. Come on, just... We just need to talk to the archaeological expert. And that's it. I found this in a hidden cavern beneath the dig site. Incredible. There was an altar down there. The place is crawling with skeletons. Yuck. This is an amazing discovery. All this while we were convinced that no other race had lived here. It seems the followers of Saradoman have tried to cover up the evidence of the Zaros altar. This whole city must have been built over it. Thanks for your help. Your sharp eyes have spotted what many have missed. Here, take this gold as your reward. The expert gives you two gold bars as payment. Two quest points, 15,300 mining XP, 2,000 herb lore XP, and two gold bars. Mining is now level 41. We can now mine with rune pickaxes and gilded pickaxes. Herb lore is now level 21. Nice. Okay, well, with that, I am tired. I'm gonna... I'm gonna go. <laughs> so, uh, next time we'll, I don't know, we'll, I don't know what quest we'll be doing. Um, we'll see. Uh, I haven't really thought that through yet, so Th look forward to Mystery Bag episode next time. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you then. Bye bye